Today we're going to talk about how inflation changes investing. Inflation causes prices to go up. Shouldn't this be good for stocks? Not exactly. Rising prices cause the Federal Reserve or the Bank of the United States to raise interest rates for everybody in order to get inflation to come down. This changes investing. Higher interest rates means there's an opportunity cost now to investing in something that only produces cash far in the future. If you look at this chart, you can see a $100,000 payment 10 years from today is worth $90,000 at a discount rate of 1%, but when we have opportunities to invest in say a risk-free rate of 5% or even 7.5%, the present value of those cash flows goes down significantly. The previous slide showed that the present value of a payment 10 years from today goes down significantly if we use a higher discount rate. How can you insulate yourself against this as an investor? Well, take a look at this chart. On the left side, we have a growth company that's unprofitable until year five. On the right, we have a value company that's profitable in year one. You can see that the present value of cash flows goes down in both of these instances as we raise interest rates, but the value company suffers far less. Let's take a look in Excel to see exactly what's happening here. Here we are in Excel to do some math, everybody's favorite thing. The growth company in column B is losing money until about year four where they start breaking even. On the right side in column C is the value company, which starts with $10 million of cash flow and grows it at 3% all the way out to year 10. In year five, the growth company becomes profitable and starts growing cash flows at 20%. And you can see in year 10, it has almost three times the cash flow as the value company. However, the discount rates make all the difference. Looking at the net present value of the growth company's cash flows, if we discount them at 1%, it's worth around $108 million right now. Same thing with the value company. Discounting these cash flows at 1% also gives us about $108 million. There's barely a 1% difference in the value of these companies if we discount them at 1%. What happens in inflation though when interest rates go up? The story changes drastically. At a 4% discount rate, the growth company is only worth $83 million compared to $92 million on the value company. As discount rates go up, the growth company value plummets because it only has cash flows far in the future and is not giving you anything today. You go from a 20% difference to a 30% difference at a 10% discount rate there. So is it just as simple as buying value companies with cash flow today to make money during inflation? Of course it isn't. You need to have a catalyst to unlock that value. If the company's producing cash and just piling it up on its balance sheet, the stock might not move, especially in a world where most investors are indexed, meaning they're only buying companies that are in an index like the S&P 500. A lot of the value happens outside of those companies. So how do you buy a company that's not getting flows from passive investors that actually gives you that value? You need a catalyst to unlock the safe. Catalysts are things like special dividends, regular dividends, material repurchases of stock, and investor activism. These types of events can unlock value for shareholders, and they become much more likely as cash flow piles up on a balance sheet. Value companies are the only ones able to do this because a growth company does not have the cash to pay it out to shareholders. They only have the promises in the future. This is why investing changes drastically in inflation, and it might behoove you to look at value stocks instead of growth in this type of environment. Thanks for watching.